I'm here with Phoebe Parkin, who has an exciting title of a Youth President. What does that entail? So the Youth President role is to um, re represent the children and young people of the Methodist Church in Britain. So that's um, a mixture of engaging with children and young people, listening to what they have to say, um, and also sharing with them what's going on in the church and um, you know the wider world, um, and also then sharing the views and opinions of children and young people with the wider church. Um, and it could be those who are senior church leaders or across um, the connection or even those outside the Methodist Church. So really the youth president is the voice um, of children and young people um, in the Methodist Church. An advocate? Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. And obviously people talk about the pandemic and children and young people and the devastating effect that it's had. I, I've always said there's going to be a, there's going to be the COVID kids. Yes. You, what does it mean for the kids, the COVID kids of the Methodist Church? Um, I mean, it's so broad. Um, just in the conversations I've had with children and young people, um, the experiences and the um, the feelings around the pandemic. There have been children and young people who have absolutely flourished in this time, um, and they've had the opportunity to spend time with with their families. To to just, I guess, yeah, they they've enjoyed this time to to do things differently. Um, and you know, I think there's a whole conversation to be had around privilege and and how children and people's experiences of the pandemic have been affected by um, their socio-economic background, race, class, mm -hmm. gender, etc. Um, but obviously, um, there are also children and people who've been um, really unfortunately affected by the by the pandemic. Um, I guess school is a big one. Mm. Um, so many of them have spoken about the fact that it's not just the fact that they're all not going to school, it's the uncertainty around it, the uncertainty mm. around exams mm. and mm. whether they're actually going to be going into school one week or not um, going the next week. So that's something that's difficult. And the church, how's that been? I, the, again, there's some, been some children and young people who've really loved online worship. I think the thing that keeps coming back to to me is the fact that they've really loved being able to spend that time with other members of the church in in a way that they can have conversations with them. The Zoom platform, which so many churches have used, allows them to be in dialogue with children and mm -hmm. people. And they've said, we've really enjoyed the fact that services are now much more conversational. There's this chance to explore yeah. faith and to, to do that alongside other church members who they don't normally interact with. But I really think they're missing that physical mm -hmm gathering that opportunity to see other people their age to experience church um in person in person and whether that's you mm. know, worship mm. music and stuff or just having again mm. a coffee with somebody um so i think that there's been some really good things taken from it but again they're so desperate to be back there in person yeah and you're here at a conference it's your first time welcome thank you it's a lot of uh jargon yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> my brain hurts so what are you going to be telling the conference what what message have you got for us so um a lot of my the report that um of, that's coming from three generate even though three generate didn't happen um is about children and young people's experience of the pandemic but i think the take home message for me that i want people to really listen to is that children and young people are ready for this journey of faith this journey of um, listening to God, respo responding to God's calling and actually taking action. Um, but they want to do that alongside the church and that's not just the church as a whole, that's every member of the body of Christ. Children and people want to be valued as members of the body of Christ and then to be equipped and enabled to live out this calling and do that intergenerationally. Um, and I think sometimes people people think that children and people will just go and do their thing and I think mm -hmm. we need to create a church where we're all in dialogue with each other, um, where we all move together and, and can learn from each other. Um, and children and young people are really willing and ready to do that. And I think for me, it's about pretty much the adults responding to that. Mm. Um, and I think they will. It's just about listening and again, that dialogue, which is so crucial. Do you have a message for Marjorie, who's just sat in the pew? Marjorie in the pew, okay. what have you got for? What, what can she do? How can she help to regenerate and children and young people? 
So Marjorie in the pew can go and talk to the children and young people in her church. And that and Marjorie in the pew might say, Well, there's no children and young people in my church and go, Well, go and talk to the children and young people in the schools or mm. your grandchildren or your grandchildren's friends or your nieces and nephews. We all know children and young people in some respect. It's about going to where they are and saying, Hey, look, I want to be engaged with you, I want to be in dialogue with you, I want to walk with you on this journey of life and um, you know, embrace who you are, accept who you are, accept that you're probably at a very different point in your faith to me, but we can walk this journey together. Um, and uh, I think Marjorie and the Pew can just, yeah, be be excited to do that and be ready and willing to do that. Um, and it, it does take a little bit of guts, I guess, for maybe approach a child or young person, but. I, I, it also takes guts for a child or a young person to approach an adult and so often Very true. adults ho hold the power in mm. that dynamic and it's about adults going well okay I want to change this power dynamic and be um, be equal yeah. equal members of the body of Christ with yeah. children and young people we've all got a part to play exactly yeah Phoebe thank you so much for your time it's been wonderful to talk to you and I'm really inspired thank oh, you thank you so much enjoy the rest of the conference thank you and you <laughs>